Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Dan. And we are here with another exciting battle report for you. Uh, we've got some uh, 3025 action going on again. 3025-ish. 30, it's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. it's really fun. Mm -hmm. We're doing a, a classic throwdown between the Free Worlds League and the Capellan Confederation. Yeah. Shockingly, I am not playing the Free Worlds League. I am playing the Nefarious Capellans. Um, very excited. I've got a whole bunch of new models on the table. Um, actually, we're playing with all my models tonight. So yes. I've got yeah. some Andorian Rangers, which the lore buffs will tell you didn't actually exist in 3025, but come at me, bro. <laughs> okay, they're here. Uh, <laughs> it just happened. This is like they're, um, they're preemptive, you know? That's right. Like, yeah, yeah. They're, they're going to break off eventually. <laughs> Them, but. <laughs> of course they exist. Yeah, I mean, yeah. somebody was white and green in the Free World yeah, League. Yeah, somewhere. So, somewhere. Um, so we've got those guys, and they're up against um, the old Kentucky Chargers. Yes. All right. Uh, that's a unit of my own design. They used to be called the Capellan Chargers, but they, as I, I made a joke about this before, they were getting bad PR. <laughs> so uh, old Kentucky Chargers <clears throat> and the Death Commandos. So I've got two different lances here. We're using our uh, strike operations rules, which is sort of the pick off the shelf method. So I'm taking two light lances against Dan's heavy lance. Yeah. You guys wanted light mechs, you got them. I got eight. Yeah. It's an eight on four, it's mayhem. Uh, so why don't we take a quick look at the forces, shall we? All right. And then we'll be right yeah. back. All right, check them out, guys. All right, so there they are, uh, looking real good, looking real good. I'm very excited to, uh, to see these uh, these forces on the table. Some some new sculpts out there from Wave Two that we haven't yet fielded on the channel, including uh, the Exterminator, the yeah, Highlander yeah. on your side. Um, got some got some Jenners. Yeah, not not one but two. Um, you, do, you do like your Jenners. It's true, and if you guys uh, are faithful fans, you will notice that um, a lot of the you know the the Chargers units. Uh, I had old sculpts of, and, and I had made this comment before, I did not, I, I like got rid of all my old stuff. Oh. It needs to be scaled properly, it needs to look right. There's only a few Ironwind mech sculpts that I actually kept. I mean, I kept them all, but I don't use them. You know how I feel They're, they're that. packed away in a box with love. Yeah, I mean, I just love the scaling of the new ones, so... Yes, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame though. That old, that old Jenner was one of the first I bought back in the day, when I was but a wee boy. We just have to get like a 3D scanner. So we can scan that particular one, scale it down for you. It's not the scaling; it's the weird gangly legs <laughs> yeah. that, that like don't have joints, and they like connect into the shoulders. Like I don't know how this thing ran like a weird ostrich. I'm not really oh. sure. <laughs> I love the new designs though; yeah, they make yeah, more sense. Yeah. I mean, as far as giant walking robots, uh, mm -hmm. you know, go. Anyway, yes. So. What do we have tonight? Tonight we have uh, what we call an asymmetrical mission. That means the attacker and the defender have different objectives. So the way it works is there's three objectives on the table. Uh, Dan sets up the objectives, and I secretly note which one is my target of interest. 
What should I say? My Dr. Evil quote fingers. Um, and I write that down. You don't know, but I do. And then I basically move my units onto the board. I have to get a unit within three inches of my target of interest. I scan it, and then I got to get the heck off the board. Your job is to blow me up. Yeah, which is the best part. That's what I love doing. Yes. Also, you can prevent me from getting close enough to scan the target and things like this. You can yeah. earn some points there. But it's pretty much like either I get off alive or I don't. Uh, so it's going to be fun. The mission takes place on the border world of Scarborough. Um, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Not many people have. There's like no information about this world, which is why I picked it. Uh, so we're playing in sort of a polar uh, region, and I imagine the Capellans touching down to sort of probe the defenses and see what's going Are on. Are we going to have like weather effects on this one or no? Well, it's a great question. There is a little bit of light snow, Dan. Oh, all right. Uh, there all is right. a little bit of light snow, but it's not going to obscure the visibility. I figured with an eight on four, I didn't want to... I didn't want to skew the tables too much. Like, it's like a blizzard, like, one-inch visibility. You have no idea where I am. I'm like, I scanned it! Surprise! I feel like oh, that'd be, yeah, that would be my... Everybody just standing around, like... Yeah, we're... I can't see a thing out here! Oh. <laughs> uh, good times. All right, well, uh, speaking of good times, let the action commence, guys. Stay tuned. It's coming right up. Dropships touching down in Sector 4. I'm picking up two full lances heading south from the Glacier Pass. Perimeter defenses are offline. Who the hell are these guys? Attention on identified forces. This is Captain Jeb Smithson of the Enduring Rangers, and this is your one and only warning. Identify yourselves, or you will be fired upon. Uh, sir, we got no response, but... It does appear our long-range communications are being jammed. Uh, understood, Corporal. This is either a smash and grab, or they're testing our defenses. So let's hold the line and protect the reactor complex. Intel says we're up against mostly light mix, so cover the flanks and watch the crossfire. I don't want any surprises popping up behind our backs. Got it? Multiple contacts. Dead ahead. 1300 meters. All right, Rangers. Lock and load. Look sharp. And fire at will. Something interesting, maybe just energy, hard to say. But there are three targets of interest, as you can see, uh, that you have placed in an interesting triangular shaped pattern, uh, perhaps to lure me in to your, to your trap. <laughs> um, but Dan will be uh, deploying, you pick that side, I'm gonna be deploying on this side. Uh, by the way, this, this map, guys, this is, this is also frontline gaming. Yeah. It is uh, a very fancy. Yeah. A lovely choice. I, I like it, a lovely I like choice. it, yeah. Uh, so that was kind of cool, you know, it's sort of the, the iceberg, watery type thing, so pretty neat. Um, are you ready? Yes. All right, so guys, we're going to get into turn one movement, and we'll be right back after that, so stick around. We are back here after turn one movement. Uh, lots of action already. Yes. I have four mechs destroyed just because they're light mechs. They couldn't, they couldn't they survive drowned, on the ice. They drowned in the water. <laughs> um, they're so fragile. They like bump their head going under the bridge here. <laughs> so as the, um, as the attacker, yes. I basically win initiative automatically on the first turn. Uh, but we still progress through the bracket order. 
Um, why don't you tell us what you did, and then I'll go through my forces, Dan. Well, I ran in diabolically. We all hit his after his. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just moved forward into uh, basically just going to try and stay within the triangle of death, is what I would like. I would like to call it there. the Bermuda Triangle, <laughs> Scarborough Triangle. But uh, I don't really have an idea yet as to which I'm. I personally think you're going to go after three, but you know, could throw me for a for a loop there. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we'll see because what I have is my. So I've got my Death Commandos. They're in black and green. Uh, they have been known to double as my Winfield's Brigade as well. Okay. Um, it's primarily right. what they are, but I use them as Death Commandos. Right. I actually didn't have enough light mechs in the tan, so I had to mix in. And, <laughs> I can mix in a little bit. I get creative. Well, there. I mean, it just it, it lets me know which which is which. You know, which strength is which. So. That's true. Yeah. Well, the Death Commandos are are um, like I leveled that formation up, so they're all three fives. Okay. With one skill point. Right? Okay. Uh, the the other dudes, they stink. They're they're all four fives with no skill points. They're just a base like. So no. we'll see how that works. Okay. Out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let me talk about what I did. Yeah. I've got three of my fastest mechs out here on the right flank. They're kind of ripping along that ridge line there, the coastal ridge line, as it were. Um, I have my Panther. This is a modified Panther. I swapped the SRM4 for an LRM5, one of my, one of my favorite uh, Panther modifications. So he's just marching up the middle there, Phoenix Hawk, Commando, and then the two big guys, Griffin and Wolverine. Uh, coming in on that left flank there. So just trying to keep you on your toes right now, keep my options open. Uh, that giant reactor stack in the center there will definitely provide some interesting line of sight issues, I think. I, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, it might be providing line of sight issues for camera two over there. <laughs> I'm not even sure. The thing's so big. Um, I love it. But that's that. So guys, turn two's coming up. Dan, any any thoughts? Um, How are you feeling about this one? Great. Yeah, I got this one in the bag already. I know it. Dude, that Highlander's awful. And that <laughs> Orion, too. I mean, they're all oh. just really nasty. That's what I'm saying. You just got, I just need you to get closer. That's all. Closer. And then I hear the like games three really PM. begin. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, guys, turn two is coming up. Stick around. are back turn two um dan adjusting his dice to the last minute he's like just kidding none of them sprinted <laughs> i see what you did there bud oh. uh, i see what you did there bud. no um it's fine uh we, we we're good uh let's talk about movement though so i won initiative um so i got to move my dudes ahead of your or actually you know after yours yeah. right yeah. um i'll talk about what i did then you can talk about what you did so basically, I've got my three very fast mechs, the Jenner and the Locust. They're all still streaking up, up the side there, towards the quad, into the gymnasium. <laughs> Don't you remember that? Remember that movie? Right. I like to make movie references and bat reps to see who gets them in the comments. Um, Panther walked. Panther is being very brave right now and is staring down that Orion uh, in open field. I, I don't know how I feel about that, but I really had nowhere for him to go. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, there is a there's a there's a slight flurry, so maybe it will be in my favor. The commando sprinted. The phoenix hawk jumped. He had some terrain to get through, and sprinting. I just figured I would jump. It got me the same spot. Um, and then my two guys on this edge of the map here are coming around um, to hopefully get in the fight next turn. So Dan, yes, tell us what you did. Uh, I moved forward. Good. Good choice. Yeah. That was the wall. The wall of of Andurian steel marching forth on Scarborough. Yeah, I don't really have a plan yet. I'm kind of hoping like once once we uh, start mixing in, like I'll have a plan. Yeah. But at the moment, I'm kind of just waiting for you to make your sprint to yeah. whatever target you're going for. Yeah. Well, it's turn two, so you got some time to stall me here. But I mean, nice defensive wall set up. So why don't we why don't we start shooting? Um, what bracket is your Orion in? One or? Uh, yeah, it's a one. All right, so that means you shoot first. Yes. Um, not that it really matters here, but so why don't you start out? I'm gonna start with the Orion. Okay. Shocking. That's, that's pretty much the only thing. I, I, I looked at the Dervish, and I, I'm pretty sure I don't have any kind of line of sight on your uh, Phoenix Hawk over Yeah, there. makes sense. I was kind of trying to keep on the DL, but it is what it is. So. The Orion would be hitting on a four, 
nine. So you're skill three, right? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I was going off pilot. Yes. So it would be, then it would be an eight. Yeah, it'd be an eight. Yeah. That's what I got. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I am smart. And yeah. Not good? No good. Well, the flurries did in fact help me. So that's the only weapon that you have that can shoot at that range, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm firing back. My panther is extremely skillful. Uh, he is green. Uh, skill four. <laughs> okay. He's fresh out of the he's fresh out of the Capellan Academy here on Old Kentucky. So <laughs> he's still gonna hit. Watch. <laughs> you know it. So four. Headshot. He needs nines, okay. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, here we go, guys. So if I need eights, he needs nines. PPC hits. LRM five. LRM five misses. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna roll for uh, location with the PPC. That is a floating critical. Oh my God, watch me get a headshot and kill him right now. All right, so here we go. Floating critical hit, guys, Panther. Listen, you don't mess with old Kentucky. Yeah, apparently. All right. Apparently. You just don't. So floating critical goes to the torso. That's gonna to be three points of damage and can I, actually, I'm sorry, four points of damage from the PPC. And can I confirm, Dan, the critical hit? I need an eight or better. I do not confirm the critical, boy. I would love to edge that, but I will not. All right, so <clears throat> just a, a solid shot there to the uh, to the center torso, uh, and that is about that. Panther will build up no heat, thankfully, and that's a wrap on turn two. So turn three, Dan, we'll roll initiative and we'll get into more. Where, where am I going? Over here, over here, who knows, <laughs> who knows? We'll see, Capellan's on the move. Turn three, here we are in the uh, the ice bowl, as it is now affectionately called. So Dan and I were discussing uh, indirect fire. And he's like, oh, I could have indirect fire with, you know, those guys. And, and I was like, oh, what about your Highlander? You probably, he's like, no, nah, that one's at extreme range. I was like, hmm, I can't shoot a PPC at extreme range, can I? No, no, we can't. Dan reminded me that I certainly cannot. <laughs> uh, so we, we we pulled back the damage off the uh, the PPC, even though the Panther had an LRM5, right? When I declared it, I missed with it. So the shot missed. It just was like, and it just dies. <laughs> you know, right at long yeah. range. Um, all right, so this time I want initiative again. I'll talk about what I did real quick since I'm already on a roll here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, out on my right flank, these light mechs zooming through. Uh, they're, they're coming up that ridge line. A little bit of a spacing in between them now. Perhaps I'm planning something nefarious, Dan. Yeah, like we'll a see. dash. We'll yeah. see. A dash towards that objective. Yeah. I see you've got your heavily armored units on it, though. Uh, the Panther taking some cover here. Maybe he'll be able to squirt out some uh, LRMs at that Highlander. The Phoenix Hawk bouncing around, doing another jump maneuver around that uh, reactor stack. The Commando being uh, cheeky, staying in cover. Uh, probably going to dart around to that building in the center. Uh, and then I do have some shots here, though, on my left flank with the... Um, Griffin and the Wolverine. Both of them are gonna be shooting at the Exterminator. Uh, and that's that's basically what I've got. So Dan, what about on your side? Uh, well, I don't wanna have the Dervish out in the middle of the open, so I'm gonna, move, I moved him uh, into more cover uh, yep. so he doesn't get pelted to death. Uh, still maintaining my uh, my my stronghold, I'm gonna call it, very, very over smart. here. Uh, and then with the uh, Exterminator, I'm kinda, hopefully I can just kinda keep you away. Yeah, but uh, I'm not I'm not expecting to really get a lot of kills over here. Okay. Um, right off the bat in the next couple of turns, but I'm hoping to maybe will you down. Yeah, you know? we'll see. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Well, some legs. You know, watch uh, you crawl around. I mean, the, the Griffin and Wolverine yeah. are definitely my toughest two units, so we'll see how they they do in this exchange. This could be pivotal. Now that said, Dan, uh, we are in bracket number one. That would or, be me. Or Uno, as they say in yes. some languages. Yes. So what uh, what do you have in bracket one? I have the Highlander and the Orion. Anything shooting? Let me double check. All right. All right. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm definitely. You're definitely an oh, extreme. Yeah. 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 Both these guys are definitely going to be my friends. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> Could be either one of them. So I'm going to, I'm definitely going to indirect fire, I believe, with the exterminator. Okay. Uh, probably going to go for, 
I believe, the Griffin. Okay. And so, uh, exterminator spotting. Yeah. And the Highlander is indirect firing. Yeah. Now, is the exterminator going to be shooting this turn? Well, I think the indirect, uh, I could do... I can do both the uh, Highlander and the Orion. You can do them both. Are they both in bracket one? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So is the exterminator shooting? Yeah. He's going to be shooting or just spotting? If he shoots, it's going to be an additional plus one. For him or for these guys too? Uh, for, no. Well, yeah, for those guys. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with no, he's not shooting. Okay. This so you're not, you cannot shoot then. Okay. So All right, so be... basically you're just at a plus one for indirect fire then. Okay. <clears throat> so then it will be... Sir Highlander's a two, right? Yeah. Firing at extreme, so it would be... Six. Six, seven, eight. Eight. And then nine with the... Yeah. So. Nine with the indirect fire penalty. Come on. That's a nine. Yeah, you got to do the M dice. So what is it? One plus... Uh, one plus, no, it's two, two plus, or, yeah, two plus M3. And two plus M3, all right. So you're going to roll three of those little M dice up. You're looking for ones, twos, and threes. Two okay. ones, and so, <clears throat> yeah, it'll be total seven, so it would be. Yeah. So one thing we're doing this time with missiles, Dan, is uh, there, for, for clusters, when you're shooting, like, LBX and things like that, there's yeah. an optional rule called buckshot. Um, where you just group all the damage into groupings of two. And we're going to try that tonight with the missiles to make the math a little easier. Okay. So, and also I think, you know, when, we, when we've been playing, some of the prevailing comments have been, wow, there's a lot of headshots. Because you're just rolling more, right? Yeah. I mean, that happens in Classic as well. But, so we're going to group into groups of two. Okay. All right. Uh, so you basically get two groups of two. Okay. Two groups of two. Should I roll, Makes it easy. Should I roll these or... Uh, yeah, whichever ones you want, but basically 2d6 for location for each group. You're going to do that twice. All right, so right arm takes two. Oh my god, the head takes two. Speaking of headshots, and the question is, that's against which one? The griffin? Yeah. Yikes. The question is, folks, do I edge that? I think I have to edge it. Oh. Dan. Rude, but okay. Damn. I mean, okay. I can't be a six. I mean, you said six. <laughs> so, all right. So that means the, the griffin takes two to the arm and then two to the, uh, to the to torso, right? Seven Seven torso? Two. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Orion's up next. Also indirect firing yes. into the griffin. So he's going to be firing on tens. He's going to be tens, tens, right. He's yeah. slightly worse of a pilot. Here. Yeah. Yeah. A gunner, I should say. Now that's an 11, speaking of math. <laughs> okay, so yes. he's 1 plus M3. Yes, so I am 3, right? Yeah, 1 yeah. plus M3 yeah. with a max yeah. of 5. So, that would be 5. 5, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But it's two groups, so one group of 2 and one group of 3. Uh, two groups of two and one group of one. Okay. Because yeah. we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll do yeah. the groups of two. Um, so then we'll do the... We'll try the buckshot rule. We'll see how that goes. Okay. So ten, that's uh, two to the left arm. Eight. Two to the torso. Come on, give me another torso shot here. And left arm. So left arm takes three, torso takes two. Okay. All right, not All bad. Right. All right. All right, so my Panther is up. Panther's gonna lob an LRM-5 into that Highlander. Uh, we are at extreme range, so I shockingly cannot shoot the PPC. I'm gonna shoot it anyway, just to spite you. Where are you shooting? The Panther into the Highlander. Oh, you can see him? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, hey. I thought you knew that. <laughs> we had this conversation. Um, it's all right. No, it's, he's under, he's, he's hidden, I mean. I had... He's, he's not well, No, he's not like hidden, maybe... but he's like, he's camouflaged and he's it's high, good. yeah, he's. Yeah. Great position. It's that, like, it's that rusty snow camo that, yeah. that they've got going on. Uh, so he's a four, five. I need nines. Here we go. Uh, that is a miss. Okay. All right, so we're going to move into group two. 
Uh, that is the rest of your folks and my Phoenix Hawk. All right, so we're gonna do the Dervish because okay. uh, right because the the, no, the exterminator can't shoot. Yeah, the exterminator is uh spotting. Not gonna be the exterminator. It's calling in the coordinates. So we're gonna be doing and then the Dervish is firing. I want to say it's long. It's long range. Or you think that's uh, straight? I mean, measure it up. I it looks it could be long. Looks long. Uh, it's long. Yeah, that's long range. Okay, so okay. it's gonna get a little bit easier of a, a time here. Yeah, um, substantially. So one, two, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Eight. eight. Got it. There it is. <laughs> contemplating. <laughs> it's contemplating, folks. Nah, nothing to contemplate there. Okay. All right. So the Phoenix Hawk is actually going to shoot at the uh, at the exterminator. Okay. Um, now your exterminator is going to get partial cover. Uh, at least from my vantage point, I'm looking at the 30 record sheets in front of me here. <laughs> um, so I can fire my large and my two mediums. Dan, can you measure range? I think I am within 12, but um, what's the official? Oh, yeah, no, you definitely. Yep, okay, yeah. good. <clears throat> All right, so in, in official judge measurement says I'm within medium. So he's skill four. I'm going to need sixes across the board. Maybe Plus your TMM, so I need eights and nines with partial cover. So uh, first I'll start with the large laser. No good. And now the mediums. Nothing. Damn. All right, so Phoenix Hawk, he's like, I got him in my sights. <laughs> um, moving on to three. So it's all me from here on out. Yes, yeah. Okay. I mean, you're just going to shoot at me. That's so so my generators actually are modified. They have sniper artillery on their backs. Oh! I'm just kidding. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> just fire over the hill. Oh. So oh. Wolverine and Griffin, they're the only things that uh, are left that can shoot here. Both of those can see the exterminator. Uh, the Griffin is shooting through partial cover. There's like smokestacks obscure um, part of the, the line of sight there. Okay. So... I am going to fire everything. That's a large laser, two mediums, and an LRM five. Okay. Now the range to the exterminator is that is it twelve? Actually, I may not, I may be out of medium range. I actually didn't mm. check. What's the official? What's the judge measurement? Bit? Ooh, 14, fourteen, mm. thirteen. Yeah. yeah, you are definitely okay. So I can only shoot my LRM five and the large laser. Then guys, now this guy is skill three, gunnery three. All of my death commandos are well trained in. Yes, <laughs> I need nines. Ugh. You got this, man. Well, nines and nines and sevens. So nine on the large laser. Right there. New. Nope. <laughs> Hell, we're at five. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So close. Oh, these Capellans. Um, all right, Wolverine, guys. Wolverine is up. He is going to be shooting also at the exterminator. So we know he's long range. Um, he has a a large laser. That's all he can shoot. So he needs a nine. Oh, actually, no, he needs an eight because Ooh. three, four, five. Oh, no, I need it. No, I need a nine. Yeah, okay. I need a nine. Okay. <laughs> Dude, this is <laughs> awful. This is a horrendous round of shooting. Oh, it's um, like a slap fight. <laughs> it's really bad. I mean, you're just indirect firing. That's okay. My guys are actually sighting. Your exterminator is just basically sitting there calling him. He's like on his cell phone. He's like Motorola StarTac. He's like, I see him, guys. <laughs> My dudes are like trying to hit you, and yeah, no good, no good. Um, it's all part of my my plan, though, Dan. Yeah, I got so you. It's all you know. We're just luring you into my trap. I got you. All right, so turn three's over. Uh, I'm ready to move into turn four. Are you ready to move into turn four? Absolutely. All right, let's let's do it. Let's do this. Crucible of Death, Dan. Uh, yes. It's exciting. I am. Mean, Capella excited. and Mex are pushing in. I am not playing a conservative game here. I am no, playing you're not. an aggressive <laughs> game. Um, so I won initiative again. Uh, Dan was Dan was not pleased. Um, I do want to call out a couple of things. Uh, my Griffin, uh, Han Wraith Nguyen, okay, commander of Fancy the man. Death Commandos. Oh, okay. Okay. That's your Griffin is the commander? Is the commander. And yeah, he I mean, he's fire they, they don't have the senior officer. Oh, yeah, no. okay. Uh, they're just... He's just, yeah, he's just a guy. He's, he's just some guy. Yeah. Uh, he is, uh, he had to make a piloting check. Yeah. He made it. Yeah, he did. No problem. 
Um, so I'll talk about what I did and then you can talk about what you did. Um, first of all, my, my right flank, Jenner, Locust, <laughs> they're still trolling you. They're like, all right now and then like the Locust like peeks <laughs> up over the hill. He's like, hello, um, come shoot me. So we'll see. Maybe, maybe the trap will be sprung soon, Dan. Dan was asking, he's like, is this it? Is it for me? Um, this is a scary bunch. There's like, there's something like 10 medium lasers on the on those max. I'm not scared. You should be. I probably should be. You should, you should be. <laughs> you um, Chancellor says you should be. Panther is making his way across. I'm hoping maybe that rock will provide some cover with the elevation. I'm not really he's sure. He's going to be a hero. You know that, right? He's the gonna, Panther? Yeah, he's going to be the one to sneak in here. At like 60 <laughs> pH, like real slow, like everyone else is dead. He's like, guys, I've got the recon here. Um, Commando jetted around here at walk speed. Uh, that exterminator is in the is in the vice grips of the of the warrior house or whatever the frick the capellans are. I don't even know. I'm so bad with capellan lore. I, don't, I really don't like them, but it's fun to play them. Um, Phoenix Hawk. All right, he's coming around. That's Ironsides. Is his uh, Ironsides? What's his uh, What's his? Uh, I can't remember his name. Joe Rayner. Joe Ironside. Joe, Joe Ironside Rayner from <laughs> old Kentucky. Uh, so he is <laughs> he is coming around, Dan. And he's going to unload on that exterminator. Um, I almost wish I took the variant with machine guns because it would be maybe the first time I ever used machine guns in my life. I'm actually kind of surprised you didn't do more small weapons. I'm not going to lie. Just could run in and... Yeah. Well, I mean, medium lasers are pretty small. They are, yeah. You know, but, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, meanwhile, these two guys, these are like my, these are like my boss characters. They're coming in, and I haven't decided who they're shooting at yet. I may try to shoot the dervish, just right. to be a jerk. Yeah. I may shoot the exterminator. The benefit there is that they go in bracket three, so I have some, I have some flexibility, and they'll probably be, I'll probably save those guys for last. The commando and the phoenix hawk will shoot before them. Um, the only thing after them is the locust, really, and the jenners, which are doing a great job. Over they ain't there. doing nothing. Yeah. So tell me about your movement. I spent um, I hogged up a lot of air time there. Well, I'm maintaining my little, you know, over here, my fire base. Fire base alpha, whatever you want to call still it. Con I still keep on changing the name every time. Every time. Well, keep saying, that's why the Capellans are so confused. They're like, which one's alpfa? Uh, I, I, I moved the Dervish uh, to keep him behind the building so mm -hmm. he can still get some cover. It's a little it's a little tender. So okay. he might, you know, I don't, I don't want him getting... Tenderized. Yeah, I don't want him being destroyed. Uh, the exterminator, I kind of had a feeling was going to be a, a boxing fight here. Okay. Uh, so I kept him, so he's still going to have cover, I believe, against your uh, whatever the hell, whatever yeah. these were. <laughs> Griffin and Wolverine. <laughs> well, your Griffin and your Wolverine. But he's, I think, honestly, I think he's going to go after your, your Phoenix Hawk. No, he's gonna, gonna, yeah, he's going to ignore the Phoenix Hawk and just, he's going to, I think he's going to try and decimate. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, he's okay, gonna be like, okay, okay, we're friends. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna be we'll best. see. We'll see what we're happens. Best of friends. I mean, one thing I know is that weapons will be blazing this turn. Yes. Um, yes. I'm gonna have to do a lot of damage marking. Well, in the end, I feel if uh, if, I, if I'm not gonna win, I'm just gonna blow up the reactor and then it's just, oh, <laughs> that's it. If I can't have it. Nobody very, can. very thematic. <laughs> very thematic. Not very so, house marricky, but very thematic nonetheless. Very draconis. We're actually Capellans and high and surprise. <laughs> I, yeah, we're all Capellans yeah. here. Um. Oh. All right, so why don't we start shooting? You're gonna kick us off in yes. bracket one. You've got yeah. your big slow dudes, your Highlander, and your Orion. So we're gonna start with the Highlander. He is gonna shoot at the Phoenix Hawk because he has oh wow dead yeah. line of sight. Okay, on that. torso twisting yes. and just blasting yes. through there. Okay, uh, so he's gonna be able to fire both the his uh, LRM twenty and the PPC because the PPC is within long range. Okay, so That's, that good. seems reasonable. So it's going to be a two, four, six. He's going to hit on sixes for the LRM. Two, four. He fires. Six. He's got a gunnery of two. Jeez, man. Yeah. He's, Your uh, guys are so much better trained than my Capellans. He's uh, he's my Razor Ramon. What did I say? Six. You said you said six. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to. I don't normally use. Edge. Man, I don't know. I'm making faces at Dan behind the camera. I wouldn't do it. Um, I always save it for for. You know what? I'm using it. I'm gonna use my edge. Going the way yeah, of Tom. Yeah, the, yeah. We're gonna follow the path of we're Tom. We're making this happen, right? Watch me roll. As I roll. What, what are you firing? The LRM. LRM twenty. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. It's a 
hits. Yeah. All right, so you get it. So this is two plus M3. Um, we're going to group them into groups of two for ease. So two, four, six, seven. That's max damage, Dan. That was edge well spent. Yes. So three groups of two, one group of one. Here it comes. Torso. Head. Oh my gosh. I'm going to edge it. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to edge it. You know? I refuse to edge it. <laughs> I refuse, Dan. Okay. I'm gonna take. Actually, I do. If, if I take the, so if I take the head hit. Yeah. This is on the. This is on the Phoenix Hawk. Yeah. He's basically effectively gunnery six. Okay. Which is like a small child that snuck into the cockpit of a mech, <laughs> and is just playing with the controls. Well, um, I mean, it's your call. I gotta edge it. I gotta right. edge it. All right. So we got two to the torso, edging the head. All right. So four to the torso. Yeesh. All right. Left arm. And then you got one more one pointer. So four to the torso, two to the left arm, another to the torso. So five to the torso, and two to the left arm. All right, Dan, I gotta, I gotta mark this yes. up. Let me find my Phoenix Hawk card in this pile of light mechs and medium mechs that I have here. <laughs> so what's next? PPC? Uh, yes, yeah, so the PPC, which will be hitting on eight. Oh my God. But it's plus two. Here it comes. I'm sorry, I couldn't help no, it. No, it's... I mean, it's like awful yeah, luck. Yeah. It's just, I've been there. It's the worst. This side of the table, that's what it is. Is this side? Yeah, that is my ancestral side. <laughs> but it is nice to see all the great mechs in it the is. background. It is. Crazy Reaver Titan back there. Collecting <sighs> dust, Dan. More hammer toys are collecting dust. All right, so now we're going to move on to the Orion. I'm going to mark right. that I use my edge on him. Oh, that's right. You did use your edge. So. Uh, you forced me to use my edge and, and did a substantial amount. You know, one thing I need to do is actually mark this Phoenix Hawk here uh, for a piloting check. So I'm going to do that. All right, so the Orion so is going seven. to be hitting, um, he's going to be a little worse for wear. So he's going to be hitting on sevens. That's not worse for wear. Who's he shooting? He's going to shoot the Phoenix as well. Oh, is he got line of sight over the over that thing that is most certainly not the bottom of a dropship? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like it, but... Oh, there it is. Yes, so that's a there hit. There it is. All right, so that was the LRM. All right, uh, so 15. 1 plus M3. Yeah. This one has a max of 5. So 1, 2... Yeah, 3, 4, 5. All right, so two groups of 2, one group of 1. Right leg takes 2. Right leg takes 4. Are we going for the right leg? Is that where... Oh, no. Uh, left leg left takes... Leg takes one okay a scattering a scattering it's just a, a smattering and scattering of leg damage we're right. not quite done yet no. he's got an ac10 which is also Ooh, one of my one of my favorite weapons of all time so that's uh it's probably gonna be a nine yeah nine to hit right because you had a seven before yeah yeah panther's up panther's firing into the highlander um I want to I want to do some damage here. Guys. Okay. Now, can you do me the honor of measuring range? Did I sure did I can. Wa did I waddle into long yet? I did not. No. No. So I, I'm just outside. So LRM five. This I mean, is a devastating weapon. Yes. Yes. Uh, lots lots of. I mean, hey, if you get a headshot, I don't have a I don't have an edge. So, so I need four five. I need a nine. Nothing. Okay. It's all right. I still have 21 rounds left. Uh, <laughs> I'd be here all day. Just shooting, just lobbing LRMs in the back. Got to get that PPC in the fight. Um, shoot. All right, so your exterminator and your dervish are up, and then okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take us home. All right, so the exterminator, how hurt is that Phoenix Hawk? Uh, so the Phoenix Hawk is about 50% on the torso. Okay. Arms and legs are nicked up a little bit. All right, he's going to go after the commando. He wants to teach that commando a lesson in. <laughs> And not getting that close to him. What a jerk. Yeah. Are they within? Are they still in medium? Or they're, they're Yeah, they're not within three, I don't think. What do you think? Nah, they're not. They're Sky just Cam, like, Sky Cam says... Just outside, I want to oh, say. Yeah, okay, maybe. okay, okay. I see what you got going on there. All right, so we're going to... I wish we were we gonna, We're going to fire the uh, LRMs, and there's no penalty for him. So yeah, because you're hitting medium. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You jumped. 
Oh, so it doesn't on. matter anyway. And it's funny, I, the only reason I remember that is because yes. I'm, I forgot to do it last time. It doesn't matter, though. You would have missed anyway. Yeah. So medium lasers? Yes, medium lasers is going to be next. It's gonna oh, we be have 30 of them? <laughs> 30 of them on the exterminator? Four. 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 I should have separated, but I didn't because I are dumb. Uh, and that one's going to be, what did I say? Last one was? Uh, sevens. And seven. then, so this one's going to be nines. Is that right? Well, let's see. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. Nine. Two, it's plus two for medium range, right? For those, yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's a true story. Here it comes. So close. Yeah, so close. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That is it for the exterminator. Now it's the dervish's turn. Okay. Dervish is up. So he's going to fire into the griffin who's already... Kind of hurt. All right. He's definitely within medium because that's medium 12, range. right? Yeah. 12 or less. So we're going to do LRM 10s. He's actually got two of those. I know. Are they on this third length, right? Yeah. The same group? Yeah. I should okay. separate those two. Uh, I don't know. I, I think you did the right thing. I don't know what one. I was rolling for. I just well, rolled. Uh, but it definitely didn't hit. I don't that. know. Three, four, Three. five. I think you did hit. Right? Because it's plus zero medium range. Yeah. Yeah. No, no cover. So I think you did hit. Yeah. All right. I'm going to use my evasive maneuver as a special ability. Do you have that? No. Oh, uh, that's not a real thing. And I think you said... I just made that. <laughs> I just made that. <laughs> is it three? Yeah. That's what I was... I think it's four. Isn't it four? Yes. It is four. All right. So you have to roll one more. Maybe I'll actually... Maybe I'll actually connect. Yeah. Oh my gosh, those missiles do nothing. Uh, so what's the base? It's like two plus? Yeah. M4, is that what it is? Yeah, it's two All right, plus. So you're gonna do M4. two points of damage and they will hit something. Something. Come on, headshot. God, I hope not. Don't put that hate on me, Ricky Bobby. All right, five it is. All right, so that is uh, right leg. So two points to the right leg. Uh, what else do you got? Uh, medium lasers. Okay. We're going to fire those off as well. And those are going to be three, four, five, seven. Looking. Seven. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I have most things memorized. Not all things. Oh my God. Dude. Right? Right? Do you want to edge it? No. I don't know. <laughs> you also have SRM2s though, don't you? Yes. I have two sets of SRM2s. <clears throat> uh, so we're going to fire. I'll fire each one and yep. then... Yeah, so yeah, we'll roll them up to hit first. They're sevens, or yeah, sevens. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, dude, the missing by one is making my heart hurt for you. Yay! <laughs> like, oh, so that's uh, that's two, right? Yeah, so it's one. I think it's one plus M one max two. Yeah, yeah. Just one M dice. All right, so what? Uh, so yeah, so a group of two, basically. I'm gonna group them into two points. And two points goes to the torso. Yes. Okay. Got it. I will record that forthwith. That is all she wrote. All right. You, are that. you prepared to receive? <sighs> I guess so. All right. What else am I supposed to do? I don't know. That was very disappointing for the exterminator. It was very disappointing. It's hard, though, but he's going to be hard to hit with the, the jump. Is his TMM correct at three? Yeah. Okay. So Phoenix Hawk is up. I'm going to fire... All the things. He's skill four. With your TMM, I'm at just a base seven plus range. We're at medium range or short? Uh, I believe it's me. Ooh, I didn't look, actually. Because you shot the commando, right? Yeah, but I didn't. Now we're at short. Yeah. We're at short? We're okay. definitely short. Dan says we're at short. It's the official. Actually, I should have split fired. That's what I should have done. You should have just fired at the Phoenix Hawk. <laughs> the little guy. The commando has like a big bullseye paint on his chest <laughs> just, just to distract you. <laughs> Um, okay, here we go. It wouldn't have mattered. Same target numbers, honestly. So seven. So I need sevens. I need sevens for everything, Dan. All right. All right, we're going to start with the large laser. Misses. Paramedium lasers. Ooh, nice. Uh, so that is... I didn't jump, did I? I don't think No, did. okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure. I don't want to cheat. <laughs> Four points of damage. To the torso. To the torso. That's and then a, right? uh, the correct exterminator, and then a small laser. Never to never been used before. Uh, <laughs> first time this guy's ever used it. Probably the last. Uh, small laser misses. 
Uh, so what am I want to do now? Now I move into my next group of just three. So I'm going to start with that commando. Commando is definitely shooting back at the exterminator. Um, first he's going to mock you on comms because that's what the death commandos do. He's going to open up a channel. Be like foolish, Andorian <laughs> filth. Yeah, you kick him on the ground uh, and stop him. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to alpha strike. That's going to be an SRM six to start, and then an SRM four and medium laser that are linked on another tick. So I need uh, he's skill three six. We're at medium range. I need eights. Okay. Uh, so SRM six hits. Uh, that is going to be one plus M two with a max of four. Okay, so two groups of two, two points to the right arm, two points to the left arm. Other uh, group is three plus M1, also needs, uh, what did I say, three, six, eight to hit, and that misses. Damn. Okay, so how much did the exterminator take so far? Probably uh, seven. Probably enough eight. for a pilot. Eight. All right, yeah. so that's enough for a piloting trick. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm coming over to the Wolverine and the Griffin. What do I want to do here? I'm going to have the Wolverine shoot the exterminator. Dan, would you do me the, would you do me the kindness, sir, of measuring from the Wolverine to the exterminator? Wolverine's the one in the back. Yeah. You know. That's medium. What about to the Dervish? Mm -hmm. So it's medium either way? Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to take that Dervish out. I'm doing it. I'm going to be a jerk hole. Because that exterminator's got a ton of armor. All right. Um, they're all skill three. I'm at medium range, so I'm going to basically need five plus range. Okay. All right. So Phoenix Hawk, I'm sorry, not Phoenix Hawk, Wolverine is plus twos for everything at medium range. So three, four, five, seven. Seven. I need sevens. All right, so here we go. We're going to start with uh, large laser. Does that include partial cover? It, it does. So, oh no, it doesn't. Three, six, seven, eight. You're right. Okay. Damn, brilliant. Uh, look, at, look, at, look at you. <laughs> I'm learning. Look at you learn. Uh, you're right. So, thank you for calling that out. So, three gunnery, six, seven, eight. You're right. Um, you're still going to nail every shot. So I will not. I will not. These are capellans, Dan. Death commandos at that. They have lots of bad karma. So, we're going to start with a large laser on this Wolverine. Okay, maybe you're right. Uh, that hits... That's going to the right arm. So that Ooh. is going to be three points to the right arm. I think that strips the armor off, doesn't it? Dervish or Maybe. Maybe not. Dervish are so delicate. Yeah, They're like yeah. little flowers. They are. The next group is um, the medium laser. I'm just going to go to the medium laser group next. This is a okay. single medium laser. Misses. And then lastly, I have an SRM6 and a medium laser. This is uh, also going to need an eight. Here we go. Do I edge it? Womp womp. Nah, I'll save it. Yeah, I don't want to. I'm not that guy. Yeah. I'm not Here. that guy. Uh, Griffin's <laughs> going to do the same thing. Okay. Uh, oh, into the drill. LRM, yeah. LRM5 only needs a 6. Oh, jeez, damn. Large laser needs an 8. Oh, my goodness gracious. Medium lasers. Oh, boy. Wow. This is going to go till turn 14, <laughs> maybe turn 30. Whoa. I don't know. Uh, this is a good match. I'm liking this. this I mean, is, just I'm, this I'm... is classic succession. <laughs> Guys, this is why we typically don't play Gunnery 4 pilots. Um, oh. It's just nobody hits. I mean, even though those guys were Gunnery 3, they're still awful, it feels like. Um, okay, well, that is the end of turn 4. Uh, we do need to make a couple piloting checks. Yes, the Phoenix yes. Hawk and your Exterminator. Yeah. All right, so I'll, I'll do mine first. I need a... I think just a five. Oh no, six. Woo, that was close, Dan. That was close. Uh, you, sir. My piloting is four. You're piloting, yeah, you're much better at life than I am. So you only need a five. Yeah, you get that. I'm not even, I don't even want to look at it on camera. It's disgusting, <laughs> the numbers that you roll. Um, but, okay. So we're done turn four. All right, turn right. five. We're going into turn five. Where, what's happening? Will the 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 the, this the, is... the charge of the light brigade happen? <laughs> oh. Coming over there, coming over the icy ridge line, which they're all gonna slip and like it's like <laughs> like three stooges are all like fall down the hill. The Highlanders go like, oh. <laughs> anyway. All right, well, turn five is coming up, guys. Stick around. It is going to get exciting. Yes.
are, Dan. They're coming over the hill for you. Uh, the Brigade of the Light Max, the Capellans, the Capellan Charge. So, I want initiative again. How does that make you feel? That makes me feel wonderful. I know. It's, it is, I, I mean, that's... honestly, it doesn't really hurt because most of my max move before Yeah, the exactly. Anyway, so it's, it's, not... only really, it's only really... It's only... My guys are so much faster. Um, it, it only has an effect sort of in that middle group. The Dervish, yeah. the Exterminator, Phoenix Hawk, Commando. Um, which, which is important right now, as we can see. Yes. So, why don't you talk about what you did first? Um, I moved. I kind fire, of shuffled. Firebase Gamma. Yeah. <laughs> I just kind of shuffled the Firebase Gamma. Um, and then with the Dervish and the Exterminator, I honestly, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did what I did. Um, <sighs> I was kind of hoping maybe the firepower would kind of keep you dispersed. not, yeah, dispersed, but not totally rush the, the, the target. So we'll see how that pans out. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. So here's what I did on my side. Um, I, the trap is sprung. The panther uh, is, you know, moving closer, ever closer, uh, and is, you know, sighting down those big mechs. The Jenner, the Locust, uh, the Jenners, I should say, they are all coming over the hill. Uh, they're all in medium laser range of either of those two big mechs, so we'll see what I want to do there. Okay. Uh, we're going to put some firepower on that side. Um, now, over here, we've got some other interesting things going on. So the Wolverine and the Griffin had to do a little bit of a dance because I, I couldn't get line of sight to the Exterminator with both unless I kind of flanked the Griffin out this way. Uh, but they are drawing a nice speed there. The Phoenix Hawk is coming around the back of the building. The Commando uh, in the rear arc of the Exterminator also at basically point blank to that Dervish, uh, potentially at the expense of its own life. But, you know, the old Death Commando saying, you only live once. Yeah. Or Black Cat has nine lives. I'm not sure. It's one of those two. So we'll see what happens. But essentially, damn, we're ready to go into shooting here. Uh, and it is, in fact, turn five, which yeah. is the turn of carnage and death traditionally. Um, I will say this. Before, um, before, I guess, shooting even begins, the Commando and the Phoenix Hawk are both going to image the... The, 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 that is my target of interest. Okay. Number two. Okay. As, as depicted on this... On this card here. Okay. I believe there's a giant number two written on there. Makes uh, sense. So, listen, uh, I am, <laughs> right, <laughs> we're practical Capellans. <laughs> so we're both, I'm going to image with both of those mechs. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. Um, okay. They can still shoot, they can still do their thing, but that's what they're doing. Now, shall we begin shooting? Shall. Starting with that Highlander. It's distracted. It sees these mechs. He's like, oh my god, they're coming. It's going to be so much fun. He's, he's <laughs> ready to blow some Jenners out of the he water. He hasn't really, get the, you know, he's, he, wants, he wants to taste the blood. That's what I he understand. wants. Not his own, though. Not, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. So so we're going to do the Highlander. He's going to fire into, and we're going to go for that center Jenner. Center Jenner? The center Jenner. Uh, uh, it's, I love he's, it. he's basically, he's firing everything. Okay. Uh, so he's going to end up building up, I believe, a little heat. So we're going to be, uh, first we're going to do the LRM 20s, which he is, uh, it's going to be. This is two, five plus range? Range, they're in medium, so. Oh boy. He's not you, only need a, you only need a five to hit the Jenner? Yes, yeah, you only need a five. Yikes, that's oh, yeah, that. Don't worry, I'll roll a four. <laughs> you did roll a four, look at that, <laughs> except for it is a seven in total. Oh, all right, so that is a three. I have two plus M3. So, just two. Jenner is wily. All right, let's roll for location on that, and then we'll, start, even. then we'll start everything else. All the other so 400 weapons. Yeah. So that's so. seven. That's going to be torso. Um, now, Dan, before uh, we get any further, I do want to just check the heat profile on that Highlander. Um, can you, you can fire everything without building up heat? No. Uh, uh, oh, you are going to take yeah, on heat? Yeah, yeah. He's that's that's on a heat. risky move. Oh, yeah. You know. All right. So you said that was torso, right? Yes. Had, all right. So yeah. the torso. I am I am ready to receive whatever punishment you have in store for this poor Jenner. Uh, so he's going to be firing the PPC next, which will be hitting our uh, sentence. Okay. So seven. Got so it. That's a hit. Um, should I just keep that? Yeah. Should if you want to roll down the list, that's easy. All right. I mean, we're going to do the medium lasers uh, next. Okay. Because the next one is uh, SRM. Okay. So. 
So that's a miss. Okay. And then we'll do whatever you want. We'll do the uh, SRM six. Okay. That is a hit. Okay. okay. So let's so go for location on the PPC. You wanna do that? Yeah. Let's start there. Four. That four. is right arm. Now is that four points of damage? Yes. All right. So armor is stripped on that right arm. And then the SRM is one so plus one plus M two. Yeah. Max of four, I think. Is yeah. it max of four? Yes. Okay. All right. So it is two. So a group of two. Uh, so you roll location up. All right. Torso. All right. So two more to that torso. Four to the arm. That is uh, without a doubt going to be a piloting check there. It's not uh, exactly what I wanted out of the Highlander. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, well, the medium laser group missed. Does yeah. He, does he have a... No, he doesn't have any edge or anything. Okay. So, that does, that hurts. The medium laser miss. Yeah. Because that's why, for another four points. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Ryan, what does he want to do? So, Ryan is going to fire into the butt end of oh, shoot. the yes. commando. Are you sure about that? I mean, do you want to, can I... No. Nope. Can I pay you some <laughs> L bills? And I believe they're within... Change your mind? Yeah, because they're definitely within medium. Alright. So he's definitely going to do that. It's going to be... First is going to be LRM 15, um, which is going to be... Five. Okay. Sixes? No, five. Are you sure? Because <laughs> he's, he's skill three, the Orion, right? Yeah, but there's no penalty. But he's a three. Three, six... Who's a oh shoot! You're shooting commandos only a two. Yeah. <gasps> oh no, Dan. That's right. He's only a three when he runs. Oh, that poor commando. I was hoping. I was praying. You might get lucky. You know, I might roll like really oh, no. bad here. You did not. No. So you do two groups of two, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Almost full damage. So let's roll for location on that. Uh, yeah. And you are in the rear arc, so if you roll a six, seven, or eight, it will hit rear armor. That hits the right leg for two. And the left leg for two. This is, uh, this is scary. When you're a commando and you get hit in the leg, it's very concerning. <laughs> All right, so the AC 10 is going to be hitting on... I mean, this is... Sevens. This is the thing that, right. like, rips Three, holes four, and five, things. Six, seven, seven. All right. If I hit... You hit. Yes. Oh. I like that. I do like that. It was a four damage, right? Yeah. I do like that. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Are you <laughs> kidding me now? Of course I have to edge it. Well, I mean, yeah. well, because yeah. you'll blow his head clean off. I mean, I, that was, that's the third one today. You've, you've Dude, robbed I, me. You I robbed me. I can't believe you rolled three. Uh, so that is Dan. So that's, that's rear torso armor. Structure critical. That goes through to the internals, puts him in force withdrawal. He has one pip of internal structure left. That would roll for critical, right? Yeah. It's not a critical. It's not a critical hit. We're not done, sir. We're still <laughs> we're still shooting. Oh yeah, dude. The Orion's got tons uh, of all right, so we're right, before do... we forget, how much heat did the did the Highlander build up? One point? Yes. One right. point. Orion's building up heat too, I presume. Yeah, he's going to build up two points. Whoa. Yeah. He's going big. Yeah. He's going big or he's going home. He's got to stop. You know, one of your guys from. Yeah, yeah it's true. Need, this, this is a big. I need to know what's our deal. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the SRM four. <sighs> Needed seven, That's right? right. Yeah. yeah. And then the a medium lasers. It's just the same. This, I'm like my heart's beating. So scared now. Yes. <laughs> I'm out of edge. Uh, all right, so this one's gonna hurt. Uh, six, seven, or eight. Bad. Oh, dude, yeah, he's done. He's done. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah. Medium lasers, AC 10 searing through the rear of that commando. Goes up in smoke. That Orion pilot's gonna get a promotion. He's gonna get a name. He's gonna promotion. <laughs> I love it. Um, <laughs> you don't have to scrub the toilets today, Jensen. <laughs> Good shooting. <laughs> Oh, who do you think cleans out all the toilets in the max? Because you know some they all have like little like porta potties in them. I would assume they're self cleaning. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it just I goes would. down into. But I mean, somebody's got to uh, maybe whoever does maintenance. I assume it's just the techs. Yeah, just regular. It's like the low level yeah. tech. Yeah, that's awful. Like, 
Well, you can't drive a pilot or drive it, but you can definitely you can clean certainly it. scrub the toilet. <laughs> I want to write a short oh. story and submit it to Shrapnel Magazine about the dude that has to clean. The oh, that pot. would be so terrible. That would be the worst. Oh man. I mean, um, okay. So you're done on your ones. We yes. move to the twos. You you basically. Oh, my panther. My panther. Okay. So we'll shoot my panther, and then I want to record. I want to just double check, make sure I, I got to mark some mechs. Um, make sure we get everything recorded correctly. So my Panther is going to fire, uh, and I think what I want to do is fire at the Orion. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to fire at the, I'm going to fire at the Highlander. So we're at long range. Um, I can actually shoot everything, which is a miracle. So four, five, uh, I need sevens and nines. Seven on the LRM five, Dan. Get it? I'm just going to roll the PPC. Okay. Nine on the PPC. I get it. All right. All right, so LRM5 first, one plus M1. All right, so that's two points of damage, so it is a, it's a group of two. You're firing at which, I'm sorry? Uh, the Highlander. The Highlander? Yeah. So two points to the torso, and then PPC is also the torso, which is four points. That's six to the torso, it's not bad from the Panther. MVP over here. Yeah, he's, like I said, man, he's going to be the... At the end, he's going to be the guy. In. They're going to like hand them the disc, <laughs> like, like at the end of Rogue One. Oh. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's get some stuff recorded, and then we'll move into year twos. Okay. All right, so uh, exterminator going for the Griffin, the commander there of the uh, of the Death Commandos. Yes. So I'm going to fire my LRN uh, ten first. Okay. And what do you need to hit? That would don't be don't know. Uh, three, <laughs> four, five, probably, probably a five or a seven. Oh, uh, it's in the medium, so it was the five. three, four, five, five. So Just yeah, five. All right, so that hits. Um, and okay. then, ooh, I'm going to do the, uh, medium lasers now. Yeah, you so that'll be, that'll be, that'll be a seven. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's a miss. Do you want to edge it, Dan? No. No, I don't want to. You sure? Yeah, I know. Dan, Dan, say no. So just uh, one, is it one point? Just one point? One plus the yeah. Okay. All right, to the torso though. Uh, so, it's where you want it. No uh, no catastrophic damage though yet. Okay. So, uh, Dervish is up. The Dervish is up. He yeah. is going to fire. I'm gonna go after your, your Panther up there. Oh, up on, look at up you. On the, are we with him? I don't know. I didn't measure that. I didn't uh, either. So we're like definitely within long. long. Yep. Uh, so all I can shoot is my LRM 10. Do I have cover from behind the rock? You tell me then. Uh, I mean, not 30%. Uh, no? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it comes up to your knees. That's what I'd say. All right. Yeah. I'm, fine. I'm, I'm fine with saying it's not enough from that angle. All right. So that's that is right. a three, four. Six. Sorry. Just a second. Oh, one. Six is the hit. Oh, You're pressed. Yeah. All right. So that so that's hits here. Again, LRM tens raining down on this panther. Right. So that's two plus two plus M four. Right. So four four. Right. Yeah. And what's the max? Like ten or something? Or seven. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Because we can't go with ten. Yeah. Right. So two. All right. So you have two groups of two then. Yeah. All right. Right leg. What's up with the legs? I don't What's know. And it's like it's up, that's the one thing that's under cover. Like all, all legs and heads. Oh. Uh, so two to the right arm, two to the right leg. Not a lot there. Nope. Um, but that's I'll it. mark that up. You're that. That's it for you. So prepare yourself for the onslaught, Dan. Uh, prepare yourself for my my my. <laughs> Trio of medium laser wielding. Uh, I'm in. Let's do Killers this. over there. All right. So we're gonna start out though. I gotta move down the order. We're gonna start with the Phoenix Hawk. Um, I already did the Panther. So Phoenix Hawk, he can't do anything. He's scanning the target. That's fine. So now we'll move over to. Um, I'm gonna do the Jenners next. Mm -hmm. So those guys can fire their medium lasers. Um, so four. We're going for the Highlander. Five. I'm at medium range, I need sevens. 
All right. All right, so here's the deal. I've got four groups of two medium lasers on both across the two mechs. I'm just going to roll them all. Okay. Because, yeah. why not? Whatever hits. So, hits. yeah, we're going to look. We're looking for sevens. I got four chances. One hits. Two hits. Three hits. So, let me just make sure I do that. Four, five, six, seven. So, three hits. So, they're going to be four damage each. Here they go. Torso. Ugh. Left arm. Right on. All right. I'm going to jump out of order, but it doesn't really matter. Locust is up next. Uh, Locust, I got to check the weaponry on this thing, actually. So they're two separate groups of medium lasers. So these are two points each. I need sixes to hit because he's slightly better gunner. One. Just one. So two points of damage going to the right leg. Oh, my God. This is not... I see all the pips on the freaking Highlander. I'm just like, can you, can you morons please hit the center torso? Uh, like it's, I mean, gi you, it's a gigantic you, mech. How did you miss the torso? You're putting work on it. I'll definitely give you that. So I did 4, 8, 12, 14 points of damage. So it's going to be the piloting check minus two. So let's remember that. Um, all right, so I'm done on this flank. Actually, any took 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, now 19, 20. He didn't take 21. So it's piloting minus two. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire my commando. And my commando is going to fire into the rear of your exterminator den. Oh, of course. All right, because this is his dying breath. Yeah, of course he is. Four, five, six, and eight sixes somehow still. <laughs> oh, no, no, fives. He's a gunnery three. He's a death commando. Okay. Okay. So I need fives. Here we go. First group, SRM four. I'm sorry, SRM six. Uh, that hits second group, SRM4 and medium laser. That hits. Okay. So we'll just roll up the missile dice. One plus M2 for the SRM6. So a group of one. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. A group, Just a group of two. That goes to the torso. Now that's a rear. So you mark it in the rear there. That's two damage, right? I just two. Okay. And this one is three plus M1 with a max of five. The second group. All right, so that is going to be a group of three and a group of two. All right, because the three is fixed. Okay. So here we go. Three goes to the freaking right arm. And then two goes to the rear torso. Well, edge that. Will it go internal? Yeah. Ah, left arm. Two to left arm? Yeah. Okay. I hate you. Uh... <laughs> I hate you so much right now. Uh, so the Wolverine and the Exterminator. I'm That's sorry. It's not Wolverine a fair exchange. I'm just saying, the Exterminator for a Commando is just not. I can't. I can't have it. Yeah, I, can't. I don't blame you. Yeah. All right. So these two knuckleheads are both at medium range, um, and they're three, four, five plus range. So start with the Griffin. His LRM five needs a five. Everything else needs sevens. Let me just see something there. Yeah, you can fire everything and not overheat. So LRM5 hits everything else. Large laser hits. Pair of medium hits. Ooh, dice are hot, Dan. Start with the LRM5. I confirm. So it's a group of two. Go into your torso. For exterminator. Yep. Yeah, this is frontal. Yep. Frontal torso. Yep. Uh, three points of damage going to the torso. Another three? Yeah. And then four points for my two mediums. Right on. That is gone. Ooh, did I knock out your laser group? Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, That's why you don't. Uh, what weapon it's, destroyed? It's true. Well, it's a it's a boon bust. But I agree with you. If you have four, I mean, I'll, I'll I typically do two and two because yeah. four damage is a nice chunk. Um, seven. Well, good. I mean, it's also kind of yeah. We'll talk. We can talk, talk about it. Yeah. After action, of course. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay, Wolverine's up next, so it needs sevens across the board. Large laser to start. Hits. Medium laser. Misses. Uh, SRM6 and medium laser. Misses. Ah, oh, no. Okay, so large laser, three points of damage to the left leg of uh, Wolverine. I think I want to edge it. Okay. I'm going to edge it. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play like you. All right. All right. I'm, I'm going to edge the location. Torso. And that was how many damage? Three. So you're in 
I'm inside. Yep. I'm inside the delicious structure. I confirm. Oh. It was oh. worth it, Dan. 1d6. If I roll a 1, I hit your ammo. Do you have any ammo in the torso? Yes. Internal ammo explosion detected. <laughs> Ejected. Whatever. <laughs> oh, whatever. Best edge ever spent. Was that my Griffin? That was my Wolverine. That was a good shot. Uh, okay. So. Uh, I am done. Are you done? You're done. I'm done. It is the end of turn five. Blood has been spilled. Now, Dan, the stakes are high because the Phoenix Hawk has the recon data on its camera. The commando is slide pile. Yeah. So can the Phoenix Hawk escape off the edge of the table is the question. I don't know. The Orion had pushed up pretty far. Same thing with that Highlander. We'll have to see. They're both gonna have both gonna have opportunities. So turn six is coming up, guys. Let's see what happens. Can the Phoenix Hawk make it out alive? Turn six. We are uh, moving through here. I lost initiative, uh, which was big. Yeah, it was big. Uh, so I'll talk a little bit about what I did. Uh, I'm putting all my eggs in the Phoenix Hawk basket right now. Phoenix Hawk does have a little bit of damage, but I think he can hold up against that dervish. But basically, my right flank is collapsing on those assault mechs. I'm bringing in the lights with the lasers. I'm going to try to knock that Highlander out of the fight. Um, the Griffin is withdrawing alongside the Phoenix Hawk. The Wolverine's moving in to provide some target, uh, you know, maybe maybe distract one of those heavies. I don't know if, if that's feasible, but <laughs> worst case, I might be able to rescan the subsequent turn. Um, we'll see what happens. So that's basically the, the gist of it. I'm just trying to get the Phoenix Hawk off the map here. What do you got, Dan? Um, trying to kill the Phoenix. <laughs> okay, to try and kill the Phoenix. Yeah. Yes, that's my goal. I moved the Dervish over. Uh, kind of just jumped him right over. Uh, so he's got line of sight. He's going to do the spotting for both the uh, Orion and the. Uh, well, I don't know if he needs it for the Orion. Yeah. But definitely for the. I don't even know if he needs it for the Highlander. Uh, well, the uh, Orion well, can he... see. I mean, you the Highlander's tall enough to see over the thing that is certainly not the bottom of a dropship. <laughs> but I don't know that the Highlander can see through the Wolverine. Yeah, that's what I was about to um, say. But I we don't... can we can get down and check, you know. And... But outside of that, he if, if that's the case, he's going to be spotting for both of those so they can uh, okay direct fire directly sounds into good. it. So um, all right, well that sounds good. So the first thing is my Panther. Uh, as I lost initiative, right? So my Panther is going to fire at your Orion. I don't, I'm looking, I think that the, uh, the Orion's actually blocking line of sight to the Highlander. So I'm going to have to shoot that Orion. Now this stationary, I'm a four and we're at long range. Uh, so basically I need a six, uh, with the LRM and an eight with the PPC. We'll start with the LRM. I hit PPC hits LRM one plus M one. All right. So just one point. So LRM, one point to the left leg on the Orion, and then four points to the left arm. Not ideal. Uh, now, on to your big, your big meaty dudes. All right. I'm going to start with that uh, Orion. Yeah, we're going to start with the Orion. Because he's got clean line, and he's at long range. So he's going to fire both the AC-10 and the LRM-15. Okay. So we'll start with the LRM-15. So you're going to need three, six plus range. So three, six, seven, eight with yeah. the eights and tens, basically. Yes, hopefully. Dan's not liking it. I believe in you. Do you have edge? Uh, On your run, I think you do. Yeah, just edge it. You got it. You got it. So it's one plus M three. Yes. Uh, I think I've only got maximum one good hit would be so far. 
There you go. That's max damage. So two, two, and one. Yes. So roll up that location. Uh, is, ooh, all right. So that's two more for the torso. To the torso. You can strip this torso here if you land this one in. All right. So this the Phoenix Hawk eats 15 LRMs to the torso, Dan. I'll take it. It is ripe for the picking. Um, that's concerning. That's concerning, Dan. Now, the Highlander is up. Your call, or do you think? I'll, I'll come around and take a look here. I I'll would say see. he's definitely. Let me, let me see. Let me let me let me get down as this is a this is a pivotal moment here, Dan. I I think I agree with you though. I think more than like 66 percent of that mech is obscured by the wolverine and that was the intent of me moving them there yeah. unfortunately i couldn't cover both angles yeah so, so you could you could spot with the dervish which i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna do it i'm gonna spot i'm gonna yep you're, everything you're everything it. it's do or die all right you're, gonna, you're going yeah. for the spot okay Risky business sometimes okay. it pays off sometimes it doesn't but dervish okay. is definitely gonna be spotting so it's gonna be the uh, highlander <clears throat> i'll fire it in with an additional plus one to it so it's gonna be hitting on Right, so it's actually an additional plus two because the spotter is also going to be shooting. So he's basically four, seven. Yeah, so that would definitely be extreme because they're not. Uh, I think it's long. Yeah, it's long. Okay. So, um, base to base, yeah, it's long. So two, um, four, six. No, I'm sorry, two, four. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Yay. Right. Wait, because it's twos and then three, so yeah, it's five. So, so basically, it's a four with the spotting penalty, right? So two plus two is four, and then plus three is seven, eight, nine, e nine, nine. nine. Yeah. Does he bang? Nope. He used already. You used it offensively, didn't you? Yes, I did. You fool! You fool! Foolish! Oh. All right. Uh, okay. Well, they're, they're still within long. Oh, you can't fire the PPCs. Do you want to? Do you want to just go into the dervish, since we're on yeah, the side of yeah. the table? Yeah, I'll just fire the dervish then. Do you want um, to see what happens? <laughs> or do you want to wait? Do we want to make it suspenseful? I mean, it's up to you. What do you. The only thing that would go is the Phoenix Hawk, and he sprinted, so I, I can't shoot him anyway. So um, you're, you're up regardless. All right, so we're just gonna do the LRM tw or tens. Firing everything, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna he's gonna build up heat, but he's firing. So basically, you're at a base seven plus range. With the with the spotting penalty. Okay. So no penalty for the uh, missile. Need sevens and nines, basically, right? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, it's a hit. That's do you want to roll all the hits first, or do you want to you want to go you want to you want to that's that's no let's not do that. You know why? Because you might get criticals and it may affect things. I yeah. Don't know. All right. So LRMs, your two plus M four, right? Four yes. M dice. Yes. Yes. All right, and it's max seven. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven is what I see. So yep. uh, three groups of two, then a group of one. All right, let me grab my let me grab my damage card over here, Dan. <laughs> this is, go ahead, roll it up. All right. So six. Oh my gosh, that's internal. All right, that's one. It's gonna be one critical chance. Do you want to roll it or just roll all the locations first? Um, let's just roll all the locations first. Okay. That's another two. He's in forced oh, withdrawal. Still has a recon data, Dan. Can you finish him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Reconnaissance unit destroyed. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. That's unbelievable. So the dervish comes out of the LRM 10. Boy, he's been such a splutz this yeah, game, like yeah. doing nothing. A splutz, I tell you. <laughs> That's German for putz, uh, by the way. It's about time to say it. So the dervish comes around the corner, clutch. Actually, it was the Orion strip in the torso, though. That was, that yeah. was crazy. He put work into it. Um, okay. That's it. That's all I got. Uh, we're going to start with the Griffin. Right. LRM5. Uh, what do I need? So, three, four. I need... S He's only a TMM of two, actually, right? Because he didn't sprint. Um, so, three, four, five. Plus range. We're at, what are we at? Medium? We're at medium. Yep. Right. right so, yeah. I need fives and sevens. LRM5 hits. I'm just going to roll everything. Laser hits, mediums miss. All right, so LRM5, I need to confirm, doesn't confirm. So one point to the torso, large laser. So you take four points in total to the torso. 
Not enough to really do anything to that dervish. No. Uh, my Wolverine is going to fire its large laser at your, at your Orion. Okay. Um, actually, no, I want to fire over the building at the Highlander. I'll take the point of... Um, the, the point of cover there. And also the Highlander is a TMM of zero because he only his his heat penalty also drops his TMM. Okay. Um so essentially I am a skill three plus range. Uh which we're at long, right? We said. Yeah. So God seven. Here we go. I miss. Alright, now over to the over to the fun side of the table. So we're, we're medium, medium range. Everything's yep. going in here. So basically there's skill four. Look, he knocked over the light pole when he was coming over the hill. <laughs> four. Compelling jerks. Uh, they're such jerks. They just like, they just like kicked it <laughs> uh, as he was running by. Four, five, six. So I need sixes. I want to do that four times. Two, yep. four. Yep. Right, one, yep. two, three, four. Okay, you got it. Here we go. Hits. Hits. Come on, Johnson. All right, so three. Three groups of four. Headshot. Nice. He's dead, isn't he? Well, that's four damage, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's it. Oh my god, the Jenner head capped the Highlander. I mean, it was about to happen. I mean, as many dice as you're rolling. Oh my god. Right. My Locust is going to shoot your Orion. Uh, needs. So you're also Team M0. I need five. One medium laser. Two medium lasers. All right, here we go. I'm so sorry. Ah. I mean, torso, torso. So the torso takes four on the Orion. What is happening in this game, Dan? Okay, so that's the end of turn six. <laughs> War of the ants. It's, they are winning. it's insane. Uh, so the Highlander's down. The Phoenix Hawk is down. I have nobody with recon data. I don't even know. All right, let's see. Let's go to turn seven. Stick around. Turn seven. Uh, damn, it's getting perilous. Yeah. It's getting very perilous in here. Uh, so here's what's going on. Dan and I had like a triple roll off for initiative. He won. Um, so essentially, talk about what I did first. Um, Panther trudging up. Um, I may blow up this this tower here just out of spite. Uh, I've got the Griffin and the Wolverine both sprinting. I want to try to re-scan that objective. Um, and then I've got my light mechs, you know, like piranhas in the water here, circling uh, the Orion. Uh, looks like the Locust might get some rear shots. The Jenner and the, the Jenners and the Panther are going to basically lay into its front armor. Um, so we'll see. You, sir. Uh, well, the Orion is, um, he's good. He's good. He feels he's good. He's a comfortable position. This is where he wants his enemies around yeah <laughs> uh the dervish is just point blank uh i'm just gonna mm -hmm. lay into the uh the wolverine, wolverine. yeah smart so. does he build up he doesn't build up heat right the dervish um he does if i fire everything he'll he'll build up one heat unfortunately but i probably won't fire the lrms because okay. they're terrible at point blank so. yeah point blank so okay. everything else on you, the other you hand could, you could kick as well Oh, yeah. Maybe knock you down. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Could yeah. happen. Yeah, could. You could kick, too. I sprinted. Oh, right. I can only bite. Yeah. When you sprint, you can only bite. You can only <laughs> bite I'm going to start with my Panther. It's firing at your Orion. Um, four plus range, so I'm going to need uh, sixes and eights. Mm -hmm. Six on the LRM. Misses. Eight on the PPC. Hits. PPC lands on the left arm for four points of damage. Do you want me to just go around? I mean, I know we're going out of order here, but I pretty much know who these guys are shooting at. Go do for it. Just, do you want me to just do it, Dan? Go for it. All right. So my laser boys uh, over here are going to be shooting at your Orion, uh, and they need basically sixes because we're at medium range. I'm yeah. just, I'm just yeah. out of short. I'm at like three and a half on the one guy and like five or something on the other. So need sixes. <laughs> here we go. Miss. 
Oh my god. Oh, is this the first time they decided not to hit something? This is unreal. This is like the last stand of, of the <laughs> Orion over here. All right, oh, so that one hits. Hey. One group hits for four to the torso. Hey, look at that. The Locust hits two medium lasers and misses. Unbelievable, because you have partial cover from the Locust. All right, so one in the rear to the right arm, two points. Unfreaking believable. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's good great. news for you. I'm amazed. Um, okay, so now you're up. Yes. Uh, I sprinted with the other two. Yes. So what are you? Well, I guess I gotta open up with the Orion, right? Yeah, yeah. So true. which one of these two genders is the hurt one? Uh, it is the this is that one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm like, uh... <laughs> whatever one you want, Dan. Yeah, Dan, you pick. <laughs> no, it was that guy. That was the guy from the center. All right, so we're gonna center Jenner. We're gonna fire that. into that guy. Um, well, you're stationary again, so yes. that offsets your heat penalty. Yes. Are you gonna build up two points of heat again? No, I'm not. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm just gonna fire the AC10 and the LRM. I mean, I would go. I would go bananas. You think so? I don't know. Uh, let, let's say no. You're right, because you got to play the long game. Does every group build up one point of heat? Yes, sir. This is one of the things about the Orion that's just, like... Terrible. And it's, it's only got two... Heat. Yeah, the yes. heat profile on it's really bad. It's only got two heat sinks. Yay. Um, well, you know, AC-10 and... Yeah, AC-10 and LRM-15, that sounds good. All right. You going at center, Jenner? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So, I need, um... What Six. I need? Six is to hit? Six on the yeah, LRM three, and... Three and six, yeah. yeah. I think it's... No, six is across the board. On both okay. Hits. So that's a hit for the AC-10. And then the medium lasers is a hit. We thought you were doing LRM and AC-10, no? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. No, just one thing. I'm good with it. They're both... Yeah, yeah, yeah. two groups yeah, of four. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. so we're going to do... That is four. So that's your right arm. So that rips off the right arm. That uh, takes out one of those nasty medium laser groups. And... Torso. Torso. That's Torso. going to go internal. It's going to put it in forced withdrawal. And also you get a critical hit. That is not a confirmation. Um, honestly, nothing nothing you could really do uh, in there. But that is, by the way, that is that is good enough. That is good enough, Dan. Um, he is in forced withdrawal. So that is that's helpful to your cause. Uh, no doubt he will fail and run away like a pansy. Wow, I hope so. Honestly, you can only hope. Yeah, one can, can only hope. hope. What about the dervish? Can he? Can he do something impressively heroic to this? I think the currently dervish, undamaged wolverine. Yeah, the dervish is going to fire everything um, at point blank except for obviously the LRM. Okay. Guns. Um, okay. So, so you need sixes. Three. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, six, six, is, six is to hit. You have three groups, right? Yeah. Of medium lasers and then two of, of SRMs. Yeah. Hits. So the lasers. That's lasers. You roll them all to hit first. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. One, one SRM, two misses. And a second hit. Second hits. Do you want to roll? Do you, you want to kick too? Um, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So oh, four, four damage. Four damage on the kick. Okay. And then also, um, you use your use your uh, piloting skill to hit, not your gunnery. So it'd be the same. Oh, so it's seven. Oh, so seven. Seven. Okay. Those okay. is what you need. Okay. Oh, so close. Okay. Okay. So close, but now let's see. One, so, four. Yeah. Okay, you're good. Okay. All right. So basically, you have a group of four with the medium lasers, yes. right? And then you have one plus M one on the SRM. Yeah. Do so you want to so. confirm the SRM first? All right, so nothing. So a group of four and a group of one. Four from the lasers, one from the SRM. Ten, and his left arm. That is not what you wanted, Dan. You wanted head. I did, but... Left no. arm. So that's five to the left arm on this Wolverine. Imagine the Wolverine torso twisting, shielding himself as he is attempting to scan this uh, this valuable reconnaissance target. Um, that's it. That's the turn. So, I need to make a leadership check on my Jenner. Okay. He is certainly running away. <laughs> I have also no leadership points on the table. Okay. Um, so I can't even auto-rally him. Okay. 
Uh, so he's going to definitely sprint 11 inches back towards my table edge. So he's pretty much out of the fight for now. Um, I can see if he rallies again at the end of next turn. Okay. So turn eight on the way. What do you think? I don't know. Wolverine, the Wolverine is scanning, so he will have the thing. The question is, I don't know if I can actually escape. Let's see. All right, so turn eight's up, guys. Stay tuned. is scanning the griffin snuck in behind him uh scanning as well if this wolverine can survive this turn dan and i have agreed that he'll be able to sneak off the board essentially he'll use the speed to get around here and i think the dervish would probably get bottled up we'll see but then the wolverine would be able to isolate that orion so this is kind of a do or die now dan was able to maneuver such that both of his mechs could get line of sight on the wolverine i debated kind of hiding the Wolverine or trying to flank him out wide, but I need to get off the table is the big problem. Um, and so we'll see. Now this Orion put one of these Jenners in force withdrawal. The Panther's standing still on the hilltop. We're all sighting these Endurian Rangers down, but we're just gonna jump into Dan shooting this stuff. Because Dan, if you can take out this Wolverine, there's hope. Yes. If not, want to say. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go with the Orion first. Okay. Um, we're at long range. Uh, yeah, we're definitely not at medium. We're yeah, at that was definitely not at medium. But yep. Yeah, definitely within long range. So I'm going to be firing both the AC-10 and the LRM-15s. Okay. Oh, we're going to start with the LRM-15s, which is going to be... Eight. Eight. Yeah, that's right. You get it. So that's yeah. a hit. And then we're going to do the AC-10, um, which is going to be 10 to hit. It's a tough one. Yeah. Do you have edge? You don't. No, nah, he, he used don't. it. He's, he so. used it. Okay. Well, the LRM-15 does land. So that's going to be... You've not had the best luck, the best luck no. tonight. No, no luck with the... This is like your thing, man. But that's, that's my thing. It's my I'll, I'll take that. Uh, also, Jenner's with... <laughs> With four, four medium lasers. Yes, yeah. Uh, okay, so you max out. So group two, two, and one. Yeah. I will say, though, this Orion has been an MVP with the missiles. Killing the Phoenix Hawk. Can we get a headshot here? No. Okay, right arm. All right, so that's two points to the right arm. So close. So close. Two points to the left arm. Uh, that's actually internal, uh, oh. by the way, which we'll figure that out in a minute. Okay. And that is right leg. All right, well, that is... It's all limbs. That's all limbs. All that damage I've done to the wolf bang so far. Dan examining the car. Well, I haven't filled in this this oh, round oh, yet. Okay. But uh, so oh, basically, yeah. uh, do you want to roll the critical? Oh yeah. So it was yeah. Uh, Ten. That is confirmed. Now let me just check here. Left arm. Oh, I don't have any. I'm sorry. I don't have any weapons in the left arm. So you you had a you had a hand actually. <laughs> I can no longer give you the finger as I retreat off the field. <laughs> oh yay! Um, all right, so oh, dervish Jesus. is on. All right, so the dervish is gonna fire everything. He's gonna build up some heat here. It's like um, some wrath of Khan stuff going yeah, on here. Just... Fire the thing! Fire the thing fast! So he will be. Oh, I mean, just God. for. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna start. He's a, he's within he's a short range. Yes, he is within short short range. So he will be firing on or hitting on sixes. Um, he's I'm just gonna take this over here because it yeah. makes more sense at this point. Um, he's going to fire. I'm gonna start from the bottom up. Okay. So we're gonna do the SRM uh, two. We're gonna do one back to back because I've got two of them. So. Yep. Love the dice, man. Believe. All right, so that's a hit. Okay. Uh, we're going to do the medium lasers. I am going to... I'm going to edge this. All right. This one I'm edging. This is it. Let's do it. You know, that was a six. You saw that too, right? I saw it then. <laughs> Negative kill. That was such a waste. All right. And the LRM 10s. That one is actually going to be uh, eights to hit. No, 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 you're not short. Oh, short does have a penalty, you're yeah. right. 
wasn't meant to be. Your SRM still can do damage. I mean, if it, it evolved though. Yeah, that, I can't. I mean, do. it's not gonna kill the Wolverine. Yeah. Even if I got a headshot, it's not gonna do it. Yep. All right. Well, the Wolverine. Basically, guys, the way this is gonna end up is is like this. Uh, so the Wolverine does not die. The Griffin's gonna scan, but the Wolverine gets eight inches to here, right? So basically, it's gonna end here. Uh, and then what I can do is I can move through here, like eight inches to here. But I just I don't see it happening. At this you can move one at a at a sprint. Eight. Eight. Nah. I mean, it it would take me three turns to get off the board. But also, let's not forget. The Griffin's going to scan it, and I have that Locust uh, in, in reserve there. He's going to basically sprint around, and that's going to be three mechs that have have the objective uh, scanned. Yep. Yep. So, Dan, the Capellans know all your secrets. All of them. All of them. Now it's we time just to blow up the facility. <laughs> <laughs> Abandon the planet. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys, well, stay tuned. This was a good one after action reports coming right up. All right, here we are on the battlefield of Scarborough, the Capellan Raiders reconnaissance team scanning their target. The, the Andorian Rangers didn't let them off easy. Lots of carnage here. Uh, destroyed commandos, Jenners in pieces, uh, but it was uh, it was a vicious fight. I mean, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like Dan had had a lack of luck on a lot of different occasions. Uh, he was running hot on a lot of his mechs, trying to keep up with the pace of these lights. It was uh, it was interesting. So guys, stick around. We're going to talk about this one in the after action report. So don't go away. guys there it is another battle report signed and sealed yeah in the books yeah uh so the capellans were victorious the forces of the free worlds league stymied yeah uh at the uh at the ruthless advance of these uh these capellan light mechs uh so that was fun i mean the recon mission is you know very interesting yes uh, i yeah. mean it's it's more flavorful than it is intended to be like a you know tournament balanced um, so I think I had a bit of an edge from the beginning just because I had, I had so many dudes. Yeah. But I, yeah. I blame the fans because they, uh, they asked for light mechs, Dan. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, if you were to bring those, if you would have brought just four light mechs or even two mediums and two lights yeah. to this, like, it just would have been no fun because... Well, you mean against your heavy lance? Yeah. Like, that I would have been awful. I would have walked all over you. I wouldn't have wanted to play. Yeah. I would have cried. <laughs> I'll still do it, though. I'll still play with you uh, if that's what you really want. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, so, you know, it's interesting. I, I, uh, I looked up the battle value of these forces very, very close. Um, and this was, again, picked off the shelf. Like, honestly, we don't balance them, like, by BB. We just grab what we wanted. Um, and I was afraid that my forces were going to be a little bit higher because I took the Jenner Fs. But actually, I think you... I'll have to look. I'll put it in a pop-up. But I think you had a very, very minor point of advantage, or I was up by maybe, like, 50. It was very, very close either way. Um... We were talking a little bit about some of your units, yeah, yeah. right after the the outro there, and we were we were talking about the Highlander being sort of a letdown. Yeah, yeah, it just it did not um, it did not perform to to what I expected for an assault mech, uh, especially going after the lights. But I, even like the first volley against the first, I thought like I would easily be able to put at least one of those genders. Just I, put it yeah, down as soon as you came over to the over the ridge. I was like, all right, this is my chance, and it just. Yeah. <clears throat> Granted, a lot of that has to do with my rolls. Just you, you, mean you missed half your alpha strike, yeah. Uh, but tough. even then, and then taking taking the heat, and then it just not being able to to drop the heat fast enough to be worth, and then then the headshot that did, didn't help either. But the headshot didn't help. But I mean, just from a raw performance perspective, you know, the Highlander I find is one of those like weird 
Like, it has, like, too many different kinds of weapons. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, it's SRM, LRM, you know, AC or, or PPC, a couple of mediums. It's like, what do you do? Yeah. Everything. Yeah. You know? And then it's super slow. Um, and when you take the heat penalty, it's, like, abysmally slow. <laughs> yeah, as in, like, you, you're, you know, you're moving an inch. <clears> they get better as, as technology advances again, and they can use a Gauss rifle. Um, and I think that really helps with the heat profile. And, like, you have the LRM-Gauss pairing... That's really good, but some of these early era ones I, I find are a little tough. Now the Orion, on the other hand, I love that mech. Yeah, I mean he just just beast yeah, mode. Yeah, he should have been um, my he should have been my shit the heat. They they've always had a really bad heat profile. Even in classic when I used to play that, I would modify them and I'd actually downgrade the fifteen to a ten, um, and add heat sinks. I think, and I might have even dropped maybe the one of the lasers. I don't remember exactly what I used to do, but. Um, something so that you could fire things with yeah, more frequency. Yeah, yeah. Because it just gets so hot so quick. Um, but it's it's so tough. It is. It's, it's a it, fantastic Mac. And it definitely, I mean, there was a point where everybody was hurt except for him. Like, it was oh, just, yeah. he didn't, just beast mode. And he then, wasn't you know, just it, so. sheared off half that Jenner. I think if I ever we ever do this recon mission again, it would definitely, if, 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 not in the same the Lance uh, build, but I definitely would, LRMs and probably. A lot of uh, lasers and ACs yeah. for front line. I'd probably do front line and then LRMs in the back. Yeah, and but. you know, I mean, I think Dan kind of knew he was coming into an uphill battle because we talked about it before. I was like, what do you know? What do you think about if I like do like a light swarm? You know, people are asking for light max, and you know, we do like an eight on four, or, you know, something like that. And he was into it. I love being but a it, guinea pig. It's, it's just, it's, you know, it's, I mean, I feel bad, but I mean, I think uh, if if you were gonna do this. A different way you know and we played the same points and i mean i would have maybe downgraded the lance or not taken the senior officer right and spent those points on vehicles yeah yeah you know something to um, a little beef it out a little bit more um, yeah just, just add a couple more yeah. because you you were saying like tactically you know you shouldn't put the highlander out on the left flank and you should have kept things more central and i agree like if i were you looking at the map like i would have parked everything Right, like you said in the beginning, like in a Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, yeah. And just kept them there and let me come to you. Yeah. Um, but as soon as, like, you, you saw my, like, little flanking dudes sneaking down, you pulled the Highlander out, I was like, hey, excellent. Um, I knew that I, I had a good chance of, of, you know, isolating those mechs. Because, listen, the Jenners are scary. I mean... They are. Eight they freaking are, yeah. medium lasers, and they're fast enough to get in range. Ten medium lasers with the Locust. So that's, I mean, that's devastating amounts of firepower, um, even in, even in classic, um, alpha strike as well. Like it's just a lot of damage. So I don't know. I felt, I felt good about my strategy. I think I got a little bit lucky, not on my dice rolls, but on your dice rolls. Like you, yeah, yeah. you rolled all those headshots. I was able to edge out of them, which was unfortunate. And then you, then you, <laughs> then you went into a slump of missing. Yeah. 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 It happens to the best of us. Yeah. Cause we, I mean, if you think about it, if we weren't able to edge off those headshots. That would that was like what four four max. That you rolled been so toast. many headshots. Yeah. Yeah. You rolled so many. Yeah. Um, yeah. But such is life. Yeah. Such is yeah. life. And the other thing, you know, that that I was thinking about is just the dynamic of the game. You had worn down um, my Griffin substantially, and something else. I think I, I can't remember. That's why, like, um, if I if we would if I would have been able to take out the the Wolverine, um, this last turn, like the Griffin wouldn't have gone away. Like, no, was, Griffin would not have gone away. He, he was, was on. He was very few pips left on the torso, um, and the Locust is you know it's just paper. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, so basically, it would have been just my Dervish running around mopping everybody up as they're trying to scan shit. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. I mean, it would it wouldn't have gone well. Actually, it would have come down to the Panther. Yeah. And he would have headshotted your Dervish. <laughs> From like long oh, range, yeah, with his yeah. <laughs> uh, would have been it would have been epic. That's how it really ended. We're yeah. gonna script it. Yeah. We're gonna script yeah. it. That's how it really ends. Um, but that was a good game. I thought it was fun. Um, yeah, I and I, I it, it it amazes me though the Jenner F like how powerful that mech is. Um, it's like just so good. Yeah, that I think the next so time good. I'm just gonna bring four of those. All Jenners. <laughs> yeah, just... Tom would be so excited. <laughs> just a sea of Jenners. <laughs> uh, or Locust. Battle I mean. Tech. Battletech, the next edition will just be called Jenner Wars, uh, because it is, it is clearly the only mech that you should bring. Um, yeah, no, but seriously, I, th I thought it was good. It was cool to see all the different, like, Wave 2 and Wave 1 models on the board, like, lots of really good stuff. The only thing that I think was a 3D print was the uh, the Dervish, rather, 
Um, but everything else is, you know, is, is a wave one or two. Exterminator was cool. Yeah. Should yeah. have split those lasers. Yeah. Yeah. Should have learn, learn, you know. Live and learn. I really need to, like, look at what I'm doing when I'm making it. And you just get so excited. Like, I, I do. I do. That's the problem. Like, I, there was another one. I think there was one of them that had, like, linked that I ended up splitting apart the dervish you did a lot of really smart things with the dervish yeah i think that's why maybe um, what it was it was theirs i believe was originally there they were all tied together yeah so i ended up split, split, split the srm2s but, out and yeah you know. yeah but i didn't catch on to the it's important how you how you group your weapons is definitely tactics it's it's tactics. Thought. Yeah, it's tactics yeah you know but that said uh it was fun good yeah. game yeah as always always man. Um, always. i love losing he does not it's gonna, it's coming for it, you, Dan. I don't, I don't hate it's it. Man. I just, I just like it's playing. Coming. I just like playing. You know what else is coming? Two things. That sounded awful. Yes. Two, <laughs> it did. two things. Uh, number one, we're talking about uh, Mech Warrior Destiny, the RPG. Yes. Uh, so we yeah. might do that in the studio with Tom, Dan, uh, and Rick. Uh, so keep your eyes out for that. That would be fun. We might integrate some, you know, obviously some tabletop in there, but we want to get. Cut our teeth on the RPG and see if that uh, see how that goes. Yeah. Uh, the other thing Dan and I have been talking about, and I'm interested uh, in uh, in some comments and feedback, is we've been looking at the uh, the interstellar like advanced aerospace rules in Alpha Strike. Fighting in space. Fighting in space, guys. So recently, uh, the Alpha Strike guys released uh, Catalyst released like a whole series of cards for, you know, the assault dropships and, you know, all the, all these cool cruisers and things like that. So we've been talking about that. So that's also something we yeah. been, we've been stewing on yeah. here in the studio. Always thinking of new ways to always, play battle always, tech, yeah. you know. Got to innovate, man. Love innovating. Um, speaking of innovation, Aries Games and Minis. Yes. I don't know how that ties to innovation. <laughs> Aside from it's an innovative way to talk oh. about Aries Games and Minis. <laughs> So, uh, Derek's awesome, great prices, mechs, books, dice, everything, whatever you want. Derek also sells the tiny little aerospace fighters that IW, IWM made okay. um, for the, you know, the interstellar combat. Yeah. They're like so tiny. They're, They're so like tiny. a quarter of yeah. an inch. Like. They're super small. I don't even know how you paint them. I think you just throw like flip yeah, paint on them. You're like, yeah, it's done. Right, yeah. yeah. Done. And we're done. <laughs> um, so, he's got Aries Games, I mean, he's got all the good stuff. Uh, one other thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we are, we're getting close. We're, we're marching towards 10,000. That's 7,200 that's, that's or 7,300, something like that. That's big. So uh, definitely subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell your friends to play Battletech because if they're not playing Battletech, what are they doing with their lives? What are they doing with their lives? Yeah. I was, was going to say that. Like, like, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Playing Fortnite? Yeah. Like a loser? Super. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You can't roll dice uh, in Fortnite. You cannot do. You cannot. Do, I don't think you. I actually I never played Fortnite. I have no <laughs> idea what you can do in Fortnite. Um, so, subscribe. Give us a like. Leave a comment. If you want to get more involved, you can head on over to Patreon, um, and uh, you can support us over there as well as get access to some exciting perks, digital tools, um, and other things like that. So, I'm done. Dan, anything? Any closing thoughts? No. All right. I just had a great time, man. The next one is going to be Dan playing 19 Assault Mechs against my Locust. Just <laughs> one Locust. And we're going to sit watch the <laughs> Stealth armor. My mom will be like, headshot again. Headshot again. Headshot again. Oh, uh, stealth armor at ECM. Every, every, all that. Just yeah. invisible. Yeah. It's like, it's like the, the black face paint, like the, like the gif you sent me with Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah. Just pops up out of the swamp. Out. Getting ready. <laughs> oh, that would be, uh, that'd so be good. good. That'd so be good. good. All right, well, on that note, guys, we hope you enjoyed this exciting reconnaissance battle report. And, of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a good night.